Programming a Rainbird SSC smart controller is easy. We're about to see step by step how its simple to set design lets you set the time, the date, and the location of your home. Then we'll see how you set a custom tailored watering schedule for each zone. Finally, we'll look at simple ways you can take manual control of your system for special situations. Before you start, decide how often and how much you want to water each zone in your yard. If you use your own preferences, plan your setting for the hottest time of the year. Based on your zip code, the controller will automatically vary the water delivered throughout the seasons. For even more precise watering, slip the Smart Scheduler CD included with your controller into your PC. Welcome to the Rainbird Runtime Calculator. You'll create a water efficient schedule that's custom tailored to your geographic area, as well as your plant types and soil conditions. To learn more about this easy to use software, just watch our Smart Scheduler video. Let's get started programming your controller. Here's all you need to do. First turn a dial so it points to the set clock marking. Push the left up down arrow keys until the current AM or PM time appears. Now turn the dial to the set date marking. Push the left up down arrow key to set the year and use the right key to set the date. Next turn the dial to the set zip marking. Use the left and right up down arrow keys to set your zip code. This lets the controller automatically adjust watering throughout the year for typical weather conditions in your area. Now we're ready to set the watering schedule for each zone in your yard. For each zone you select, your smart controller shows all the settings at once. You can make these settings in any order and change any of them at any time you like. This includes the days of the week you'll water, the number of times per day you'll water, how many minutes you'll water, and what time watering will begin. Starting with the dial set to the first zone you want to program, push the buttons for each day of the week to turn watering on or off for that day. Now let's set how many times a day this zone should water. Your controller automatically defaults to watering once a day. But if water puddles or runs into the street, you may want to water multiple times per day for fewer minutes each time. When you select a multiple daily watering schedule, the first watering begins at the start time you set. Subsequent watering starts six hours later for two times a day schedules, four and eight hours later for three times a day schedules, and three, six, and nine hours later for four times a day schedules. For each zone, you'll also set the number of minutes to water using the right up-down arrow key. And you'll set the time watering should start using the left up-down arrow key. Remember, if you've selected multiple watering times per day, you'll set only the first watering time. The timer will display how many hours it will wait before starting each of the additional watering sessions. To set each of the other zones you're using, simply turn the dial to that zone and repeat the steps we've just followed. When you're done, turn the dial back to auto run. Your controller will now run automatically. It will adjust your watering schedule for the seasonal climate in your area, as well as for actual weather conditions relayed by its remote weather sensor. Several options let you override this automatic scheduling though. You can water all zones at any time when the dial is set to auto run. Just push the water all now button. You can stop watering at any time by turning the dial to off for a few seconds, then back to auto run. To water just one zone at any time, turn the dial to that zone, then press the water one zone now button. The zone will start watering for a default of 10 minutes and you can use the right up down arrow key to adjust the time. To stop watering before the time is up, just turn the dial back to auto run. You also can delay watering for up to 72 hours. This can be especially handy if you'll be doing things in your yard. Just turn the dial to delay. Use the right up down arrows to set the amount of time delay. Then turn the dial back to auto run. The watering schedule reverts to normal once the delay is over and you won't have to worry about forgetting to turn your controller back on. It's as simple as that. For more advice on setting up your SST smart controller, call our technical support staff at 1-800-RAINBIRD. They'll help you set up your system to conserve water and keep your yard healthier throughout the year.